trying very hard to improve my makeup skills by October for my engagement photo shoot. I gotta do what I gotta do. So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm trying to put an emphasis on using up my makeup. So from ColourPop today, I'm using the AHA Honey makeup palette. I'm just trying to use up as much makeup as possible because I own so much. Like it's just collecting dust out here. So that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna put some concealer on because my dark circles are intense. Um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I say this all the time, I go through stages where I feel extra motivated to use up my collection and then something happens and I no longer feel that way or I lose motivation. However, right now, I'm at that point where I feel a lot of motivation to start using up um, products in my collection. So today from ColourPop, I'm gonna be using the AHA Honey eyeshadow palette and we're gonna do a very bright, summery, fun, sunshine look let me just blend this in real quick i really like the color yellow which is why i bought this palette of course i'm not really sure what kind of yellow look am i going for um i'm not doing much today there's no filming except for this video i'm actually going on a pretty long hike i say hike because i live in the middle of new york city so there's not very many places to hike in new york city it doesn't really matter what my makeup looks like which is why i'm filming this um i am going to try to put this video up though because i tend to not do that um, we've mentioned this before where I'll film a video, hate how it looks, and then not upload it. But since I am trying very hard to improve my makeup skills by October for my engagement photo shoot, I gotta do what I gotta do. So I use the shade Stinger all over my lid just to set the primer, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to use the color Totally Buggin in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. So yeah, I have until October to kind of get better. Today is the 23rd at the time that I'm filming this video. My mom's birthday is actually tomorrow. I'm actually really excited. We're gonna go to the zoo. We're gonna go to Queen Zoo instead of the Bronx Zoo just because the indoor exhibits for the Bronx Zoo open on the 24th. I have a strong feeling that there's gonna be a lot of people. So I'm hoping that the Queen Zoo won't be as packed, but honestly, that's kind of flawed logic, but it doesn't matter. We'll see how that goes. Just want to get my mom out and about. She hasn't gone to the zoo in a few years. I mean, it would have been more impressive, honestly, to go to the Bronx Zoo, just because she hasn't been to that one in almost 10 years. But Queen Zoo will have to do. I'm applying Buzzkill um, in the crease as well, just to deepen this look up. I should have used a different brush. These are from Morphe, by the way. These are the Jaclyn Hill Collection brushes from a couple years ago. Um, don't really love Jaclyn Hill, but I did buy these brushes when they came out just because I felt like I needed brushes. I tend to like all-inclusive sets, though if you have a recommendation for your favorite eye brushes, particularly or face brushes, it doesn't really matter. Let me know down below because I actually would love to know. So I'm going to apply the color Queen Bee. Um onto the lid like a very nice bronzy yellow i love shimmery shades um yeah i like it i lost some of the intensity of buzz kilo so i'm probably gonna go back with a smaller brush and hit up my crease one more time it's not really that much of a smaller brush but it's fine so yeah, I have that photo shoot and my dress actually got here. It's a very beautiful dress. There are, it fits well. There's, I lost a ton of weight because of work because I'm on my feet all day walking like 30,000 steps a day, uh, which is amazing. But the fit is now a little tiny bit loose. But more than that, I'm just like second guessing my decision to buy that dress. It is a very intense, out there, fluffy. It's meant to be a wedding dress. Like, so you can already tell that it's a bit, um, it's not a traditional color wedding dress or material but it is meant to be a wedding dress so i technically bought two wedding dresses i bought my real wedding dress that i'm going to be wearing next year and then i bought another wedding dress that i'm actually just wearing to my engagement photo shoot because i just decided to go all out and do too much so i'm just second guessing my decisions just a little bit not nothing crazy it's still a very beautiful dress i'm just worried that i'm just like you're doing too much do you know what i mean um and it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to like tone up a little or try to tone up a little in the time 
leading up to the place so i lost a lot of weight but like it's like a strapless um dress in the back oh i'm getting a phone call i told my fiance to go find my mom some face masks for her birthday so if that doesn't scream 2020 to you i don't know what does but anyway i'm gonna line my lids now with um actually no wait maybe i should put some glitter watch me mess this look up i'm going to put a little teeny tiny bit of palooza on on the center of the eyes. On the center of the eyes, on the center of the lids. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's a lot. It's a little intense, but that's fine. As always, I'm gonna line this up with the NYX um, eyeliner pen. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, face mask for my mom. Whatever, photo shoot. The back is basically strapless as a big bow, and then um, that's it. So. I feel like my back maybe isn't as toned as the rest of me is, um, but I can work on that. Question is, will that be enough by the time of my engagement shoot? Probably not, but honestly, it doesn't matter. It's the back of my dress. My hair is going to be really long. Um, shouldn't matter. I'm going to do a thin line. Hope not to mess this up because I don't have time. Oh my God, I said that and I did mess it up. I poked my lid. I'll show you in a second. Let me just line this without talking and then I'll be right back. I don't know if you could see that, but I poked it right there, but that's fine. Honestly. I'm not, I'm not about to go try to fix that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye, minus that one poke, and then we'll be done. So I've been using the Grande Lashes Growth Serum and the brow one. Um, I haven't seen much improvement with my brows, I'm not gonna lie, but with my lashes I have. I do feel like my lashes are significantly longer. Um, I can mostly see it once I have mascara on them. Right now I'm going to be putting a primer on. This is from L'Oreal, it's their Voluminous Primer. I'm just going to do a light coat and then follow up with mascara, which is the one that I've been trying to use up. This is from Essence. This is the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I love these because they're really affordable and I feel like they give me the length and volume usually that I need. And when I say affordable, they're like $4.99, I think most of them, um, which I feel like Maybelline and Revlon, L'Oreal tend to be $10 to $11. Um, I feel like drugstore prices, though, get expensive. Um, as time goes on, and certain brands from the drugstore are always gonna be a little bit more expensive. But if I can save a dollar or two on mascara, then I will. I used to just use Maybelline mascaras, like the Rocket Mascara, Lash Blast. Oh no, Lash Blast is CoverGirl, right? So whatever, I used to use a lot of Maybelline. Um, the CoverGirl Lash Blast was always a little bit dry for me. I like my mascaras to be a little bit wetter, and then the longer I have them, obviously it's inevitable they do get a little drier, and then I enjoy that too. But generally, I like them wetter instead of like dry and crusty and hard to spread. I didn't do any face makeup today. Lately, I've been experimenting with foundation and all that stuff. I mean, I am going to do blush right now, but I don't really bother with foundation and stuff. Even though my foundation has SPF, usually that's not enough SPF for your skin. And I have been very um, on top of my, I try to be, my sunscreen care for my face. I'm gonna use a lip gloss from Milani Beauty. I did do a review for this. It's for the Supporting Small Businesses channel. I forgot the color name of this because it's not on it, but it's really nice. And it has like high shine. Like I said before, I'm trying to use up as much of my makeup as possible. I'm gonna go with a blush from ColourPop. This is Fresh and Peachy. It is a pressed color cheek thing um it's funny as i'm filming this i realize i have the ColourPop candy line collection that has just arrived and it's right next to me but the reason i didn't use that today was because i was low-key kind of upset the packaging came a little messed up and that is the second time that i have bought a ColourPop pr package and it's come busted like the actual collector's box like the actual collector's box um so that's really annoying me so i kind of don't even want to look at it because it makes me sad how messed up it is i mean it's not super messed up but the color pop packaging the candy line packaging is like i can't talk today but i feel like it's just such a big important part of the um collection so the fact that it came a little busted kind of pisses me off and the bat the box itself was busted so i feel like they just didn't put good packaging in there um to make it not be destroyed in transit don't i might complain about it but i'm not really sure if there's much they can do or much that they will do like will they send me an empty box as a replacement for the fact that this box sucks or like how does that work for highlight i'm using the mary lubinizer from the bomb this is completely shattered which is why i'm trying to use it up because um i want to be able to toss it but i feel bad you can see 
how shattered it is. There's an ambulance, but yes, you can see how shattered it is. I could technically press it, but um, then it wouldn't. This is not, I was not using a good brush for that. Um, I could technically try pressing it, but I feel like I always mess that process up. So I just want to use it up even though it's broken and then call it a day and use something else instead. Tan longer. So now I'm finishing off with the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing and Setting Spray. I don't really feel like this sets my makeup that much, but I do like that it kind of takes away any potential cakiness that I could be experiencing. Um, yeah, this is old. If you have any good setting sprays, let me know. Like any setting spray recommendations, I would love to hear them. I hear a lot of people talk about Morphe. Um, I wouldn't be opposed, I guess, to trying it out, but it's not a brand that I like purchasing from anymore as I use these brushes. Um, but anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.